So I, now I had to fix my mentality. Which things won't always be like this. Whether there's money in Lini, whether there's money in the house or there's no money in the house, I taught myself like for us to be happy, for us to be comfortable and just keep praying for mm. better days. Because guys, as much as we say this, it's not nice to stay in the house and not know when you where the next meal is mm. coming from. You, we get paid today, the following day, yeah, money is finished. You still need money for petrol, I still need to get to work. Mm. We still need to pay accounts. Like there's a lot of things and it was so difficult. So it would frustrate me, would you like, mm. why are we stuck here? Mm. My question is for you, Gugu. Since you are so domesticated, how do you think you will handle motherhood? As you currently don't have a housekeeper, will you get a help? Will you get help, or will you continue to be a ninja sana? You are doing a great job. What advice would you give a couple that wants to get married, and things you wish you knew before getting married? Thank you, much love, Kay Thompson. Hey Kay. Darling. You are all I want for sure Darling You give me everything and more I said darling Ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah girl You know I miss you Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome to part two. two of our sit down. Eh? Yeah, of get uh, and get to know us. Get to know us. Mm. So last week we did the Instagram questions. Today is the last part where we are doing the questions that were asked on YouTube, right? And before we start, we just wanted to say thank you so much for. Subscribing, subscribing yeah and joining our membership oh thank you thank so much you so guys much thank guys. you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you we really appreciate it yeah the video is doing better than we thought so um we asked the questions on the community um post on youtube like i said so we're not gonna waste any more time we're just going to get straight into it oh i got 202 questions <laughs> Um, Happy New Year to the Kananas. Thank you. Uh, my question is, what is one of the biggest personal changes you've had to face from the transition between singlehood, dating, to being married? The transition from being single to us dating and now being married. Um, what, of the, what was one of the biggest personal changes? For me personally, uh the biggest change is having to, like, especially when you're single, you just go about and do as you please. But as soon as you start dating someone, you have to think about the feelings, how, if I do this, how is she going to react to that? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, a personal change in terms of not being selfish. Okay. I don't know if I make sense, but that's that's the biggest uh, change I did my biggest change do you want to hear mine yeah <laughs> I'm gonna be honest yeah my biggest change is cutting off my male friends <laughs> <laughs> before I met my husband I had a lot of um, not a lot mm. two or three like mm. close guy friends that we were genuinely close with mm. and uh, once I started because they would call anytime like nine o'clock mm. then uh, I started dating you then I started calling during mm. the day and then I think we spent too much time together mm. yeah and then we made a decision and uh, not to have friends of the opposite sex do you have mm. female friends no nope. do you have no nope. Yeah, so I used to. I used to before I met. Yeah, yeah like, that's also you, one of the changes. Like, ladies, men. Uh, no, it's not ladies, men. When it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just having friends. Yeah, so that's also one of the changes I did on my side. Yeah, he also had to cut off. And so we only have female friends, and what's another one? Uh, oh, another one for me was sharing my personal. income, Seriously. finances. <laughs> telling you my, my no i love having you around oh. you know that and me even to this day when he has to leave 
me and him fight. Because <laughs> I don't want him to go. <laughs> He's abused. So you want to leave me? No, I'm not leaving you, my boy. <laughs> yeah, but even today, personal space for me was never an issue. But disclosing good you, I'm in a credit, I'm mm. owing this much. Remember, they even came to our house. They took, took our furniture mm. because I didn't disclose mm. um, any of my finances, so that was difficult. Mm. Uh, this one is from Idumeleng Ratolo. Mm. Uh, she signed up. Hi, thank you so much for signing up. Shem, you sleeping? You. <laughs> Shem. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've been watching you guys, and one thing I can say is that you just know what you guys just know how to love each other. When do you feel most loved by your husband? What's your favorite thing about married life so far? When do I feel most loved? I think for me, it's when, like, you would have ten rent in your bank account. Like, it's an example. You would give me your last ten rent and be left with nothing. Like, if my husband gave his ten rent, he would rather starve and give me that tendon to use it for what I need and then he'd sit on zero zero. Mm. If he has a thousand rent and I need a thousand rent, you won't give me nine hundred and keep a mm. hundred rent. You'd no. give everything. everything. Why do you do that? Because <laughs> you're taking time. <laughs> what? You're taking time. To, to I'm complete, taking time. To complete this. To, to, to complete what? Oh no, you're asking what am I doing? Why am I doing it? I thought you, you, you're saying why do I finish your sentences? Oh, sorry. No, no, no I'm saying like why do you give me your last? I don't know. It's my kind nature. It's your kind nature? Yeah. <laughs> am I not kind? <laughs> no, I love you. That's, that's, cause I'll do anything for you. I don't know if you noticed. I always I have. Make sure you hit. You do. <laughs> You want me to blush now? <laughs> and you? What do you love most about... That's the question, Musa. That's the question. When, when, do you love, when do you most feel loved by your husband? Oh, but they ask mm, me, so... Yeah, so... When, when do you feel most loved by me? Uh, honestly, when you're cooking for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so stupid, but like... When you, you like cook, that? Yeah, I love it when you cook. Really? I, honestly, I love it. And when you tell me that you love me, Aww. and when you like personally, guys, me not, I'm touchy touchy. Like, you are yeah, so, a lot. Yeah, and if you don't want to touch me, I, I tend to feel like I like if uh, I don't want you to touch me. Yeah. Or if I don't touch you. Yeah, if you don't touch me, so, so I feel like. But no, baby, I'm not as touchy touchy as you, hey. Yeah, you're not as touchy as touchy as me. Yeah. Yeah, and that bothers me sometimes. Ah, like, okay. Really? <laughs> oh, <Husky. that's... laughs> like, but how come you never tell me? I always tell you. I always tell you. You want me to touch you more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when what, I don't what, what kind of. No, with, no, with me, even, that it, it, I know if I sit here, mm. I know you're going to start. Yeah, I know that, you're going to start. Yeah, touch that. You. Bless you. I will bless you. Yeah. We go eat. And I will bless you. We will come and face you. Like that. That's what I want. Okay. Mm. I do touch you. Mm. But I don't do it enough. Ne? Yeah, I don't do it enough. It's not my nature, but mm. it's not an excuse. Mm. I will learn to do it more. Mm, yeah. Kelvin. It's Good. Elvin. <laughs> Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin. Hi Jordan. How, wh when and how did you decide that Google was the one? Did you answer this? Ne? Yeah, we answered we this. Answered this. Mm. We're not going to repeat questions from part one, guys, So, because this thing will be pointless and boring. Mm. Uh, from Nokwanda and Lovu. Hi Nokwanda. What are some of the challenges you and Mr. K have come across as a couple? pre and post marriage that you've overcome and that have made your relationship or marriage stronger some of the challenges when they when they came and took off when each other that's a, i don't know if you can say it's a challenge but it was something big 
Eight meters strong, honey. Yeah, eight meters. Strong. You can yeah. tell the story. No, I've the story. I've told them, but they've never heard it from your side. <laughs> so, like my wife said, oh, you know what happened? She when we first started dating, uh, I don't know, maybe from for, on her side, she was a bit shy to tell me about her finances. So. Should I tell like exact? Let yeah. me let me tell you guys. Yeah. So, I would. I saw the notice from the sheriff once, <laughs> and I was like, "Baby, what's this?" And you, what did you say? I like, would brush it off. Yeah, you would brush it off. It's like okay, and I think that was the first. The second, I didn't see it, but I remember on Valentine's Day, like our oh, first Valentine's. I answered the knock at the door, and I was like, "See." We're looking for this person and we had to collect the furniture. It's like, okay, this is <laughs> unexpected. Yeah. So they took our furniture, they took basically took everything. Yeah, fridge. Really fridge. We had to micro uh, microwave. They, they took everything. Couches. TVs. TV. Cushions. They took the, we were, I was owing twenty thousand rents in mm. Levis. And they took things that I'm sure were more than mm. like 40k, 40,000, 50,000 mm. rent. Mm. And the reason for that is because obviously they're gonna sell them at the lower rate mm. to cover the 20,000 rent. So yeah, they took everything. Mm. Yep. But to to cut a long story short, basically, I was low key mad at you because we could have solved that. But why you, you didn't shout at me then? No, why? I didn't shout at you. They were uh, shou shouting. What was shouting going to do? Nothing. It wasn't going to fix. I had but to you've act. never I told me to, that you were mad. I, I had, no, it's not. I wasn't mad. I was like, you could have told me. You see, <laughs> we, could not have, we would not have been in that situation. But uh, I just went to the, to the lawyers, spoke to them, promised them to make payment. And we got our stuff back like after a day. Yeah. Yeah, no, a day. A day yeah. or two. You made a payment. It was first ten k, ne? Yeah, ten k. And then you made an arrangement to come pay the rest yeah. on the. Yeah. Mm. Because they they don't play, guys. They they sell yeah. your stuff. <laughs> they yeah. Sell your, they sell your stuff. So they give you. I think we got them the following day. Yeah. Yeah. They give you. I think a day or two. Mm. If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that's that's one. Uh, thing that made us stronger basically communication yeah I, yeah but for me it also showed me that you're serious about me yeah yeah, yeah. i can't i can't be with you and <laughs> being serious okay because i love you Google, guys. i love you i love you too baby <laughs> um and post marriage have we come across maybe my mom's passing yeah yeah um, I don't think I'm comfortable discussing yeah, that, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. but something happened at the funeral mm -hmm. when my husband's mother passed on. Mm -hmm. We've been only married for six months mm -hmm. and I think until then we lived in our own little bubble mm -hmm. and we really didn't see, yeah, but to make a, to give you guys an idea, because it's family, it involves other people. We don't mind sharing things that happen yeah. between us, but when it brings in other family members, then you know we can't really talk about it because yeah. we don't want to make anyone look yeah. bad, Rebel. So, but to cut a long story short, for me, you stood up for me against yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah, like you were ready to just cut off everyone. Yeah. It was either leave her alone or. Yeah. Yeah, but that's when I saw Butisham. I mean, mm. I'm in good hands, yeah. and you were so stressed. Yeah, and you saw how I was. No, <laughs> like I think I that that was a terrible. I, like that, that, that would was be, a terrible guy. That that, oh. that was the worst. I think that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing we've ever faced in our yeah. lives. And I was exhausted. Like when my wife saw me, it's like, have you slept? Like he had like <laughs> bags and bags. Yeah, and. It was the worst. I won't lie to you guys. And the thing is, now what that taught me is that material things don't count because we just had we moved in here a few days before a week, ne? I think she, we spent like she called me. Yeah, a week before. She passed and on May seventh. Yeah, the seventh of July. July. And 
Dead Friday, she called me. She said, hey, have you guys moved all your stuff from the flat? Yes. And I was like, no, we're going to move the Saturday. Yeah, the, the following Saturday. day. Yeah. yeah, in the following day. She was no more. The following day, the fo we didn't even finish your week here. Mm -hmm. Then she was gone. And we were so excited about the house. Mm. But after she passed, the joy just she disappeared. Yeah, we were not even happy. Like, the only time I felt good was at night. And we were sleeping on the floor because, <laughs> you know, there were people, mm. you know, when there's a funeral almost. So we'd put like a mattress down and we'd mm. sleep together there. When we switched off the lights and I held him, mm. that's the only time I felt alive. Mm. Other than that, you're just operating on. Mm. When the mat you're yeah, moving up and just, down. You're just like a robot. Yeah, yeah. But the, oh, that was a tough time. Yo, yo, that was a tough time. Yeah. That could have... Even the word divorce came up. It was, it was bad. <laughs> bad yeah, bad, it bad. was bad. Too bad.